Windward Hotel is, I guess you could say, an immersive streaming survival horror show. So, um, hey, what should we do first? Well, I was thinking we should definitely go on a hiking trip as soon as possible. Oh, oh, and uh, I read that, um, the, uh, the frozen waterfalls. It's a really nice thing to see, so we should definitely do that. All right, well, I'm going to go grab the stuff, right. so, uh, I think it'd be fun to do a wine tasting. <laughs> Most of the story is really a, a co-op mission of Nate and Michelle in the audience trying to uncover just what happened to Emily in the first place, why is she haunting them specifically, and how do they put her ghost to rest by the end of the story. Oh no, ghost trace, do it! Yeah. It's like you you have an, a say in what actually happens, so it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Please. Go. Please. What are you doing? We're going to take care of this. Let me go. We'll just secure him in a room. We'll call the sheriff. This would let you actually interact with the characters live in real time. Wait, yeah. Don't have to be Emily. afraid of them. Emily. 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 Right. The little girl. She, it's all right. You? It's completely improv. So there is no A, B, C, or D. The options are limitless, and you're a part of every decision. Are you serious that you gave me those shots? You gave me those shots! Sir, sir, please, just calm down. Um, so, in that way, it's kind of like, have you ever watched a horror movie and you just want to be like, no, don't do that, don't go in there. Something bad's gonna happen if you go in the room, there's where the killer is. Well, now the actors will turn to you and say, well, what should I do? And, uh, you know, you could actually have an outcome in whether or not that character goes in the room and dies or not. You know, now you could actually keep a character alive that might have been outlined to die originally. contact with Nate and Michelle from start to finish of the show.